but first I have to finish, but first I have to finish packing a G, okay. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I am starting out a what I eat in a week. So I will be tracking for five days with the WW app using Weight Watchers as well as using my fitness pal to track my calories and macros for every meal. So I do it for five days in a row just to kind of compare the two, see where I'm at with Weight Watchers. That's the thing that I track consistently with. I don't consistently track my macros or using my fitness pal. Sometimes if I just want to see a meal or something or know like an amount of protein for a meal then I will use it but I don't consistently track my calories. I just like to do it for these videos to see where I'm at. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started with breakfast. So day one, I just got back from the gym. This week, I don't have much going on. I have some cookie orders to work on. I do have two cookie orders that are giveaway winners from my Instagram giveaway. So I did an Instagram giveaway. I'll probably do a YouTube one soon too. I need to figure out the details of doing a YouTube giveaway, but I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did on Instagram over on YouTube and give away a dozen cookies to two winners, custom decorated. If you guys don't know, I run a cookie cake and dessert decorating business out of my house. That's what I do full time. And so that's what the giveaway was. Those are the cookies I'm going to be working on. But other than that, it's just going to be kind of a busy week preparing for Florida. We're actually going to Florida on Sunday to visit Adam's parents in Fort Myers. So I will be vlogging a little bit there just to kind of have fun and see what we're up to while we're there. Today I'm starting on a Tuesday. I'll be filming through Saturday and then we leave Sunday. So I'll show you guys kind of the prep for a vacation, what I have in mind. We're going to do a quick grocery grocery trip today, but that is my plan for the week is pretty much just getting ready for Florida, getting videos ready so I have them ready to edit on the plane and all that kind of stuff. But I just got back from the gym and made myself some breakfast and I'm so hungry. It smells so good. I had a loaf of Ezekiel bread that kind of fell apart completely because sometimes that happens if it's like frozen and then thawed and then maybe frozen again and thawed or it just doesn't last as long in the fridge and it starts to just fall apart. So I had an entire loaf that did that. It wasn't really usable and I decided to make like a blueberry casserole out of it. So all I really did was add cashew milk, eggs, some cinnamon, a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, some blueberries, and then the loaf of bread. I made it into a bake and I just baked it in the oven for about 45 minutes. That's what this is. So I'm just tracking three points for this because all I really have to track is the bread. Then I made myself some scrambled eggs. So in the eggs, I just have one slice of center cut bacon, some mushrooms, and then one point of reduced fat cheddar cheese. That was all I had left. So that's just what I used. This breakfast comes out to six points total on WW. I am also going to use zero points of this no sugar added syrup on the French toast. We already tried it out and I realized it's not as sweet as I wanted it to be. I think sometimes I underestimate the monk fruit sweetener. I get too scared it's going to be too sweet. So I don't think I put enough but I think the syrup will be perfect. It adds a perfect amount of sweetness. So like I said, six points total for breakfast. I'm also gonna go ahead and drink my greens right now for zero points. And then going over to my fitness pal, this meal is about 400 calories and it is about 30 grams of protein. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I have a video I have to get edited to post today. So I'm gonna be working on that for a little. Then I think we're gonna run to the store to get some groceries. And then from there, I just need to figure out what I'm doing, but I'm gonna eat this and I'll be back with whatever's next. Okay, sorry if you can hear my dishwasher going. Also, I have curlers in my hair. I recently bought the Conair heated curlers. I used to use them almost every day in high school, like freshman, sophomore year, I feel like. I always did them in the morning when I'd be getting ready. And they usually worked pretty well on my hair. They didn't hold that well, but they gave my hair more volume and just like a little curl to it. So I recently got them off Amazon and I've just been practicing. Uh, I'm not as good yet. I need to remember how I used to do it. But anyway, I have those in my hair right now, but I made myself a protein shake while I'm editing my video. So I just did a cup of cashew milk for a point. I did one scoop of this bloom protein powder. So I recently got this flavor for the first time. It is cookies and cream and it's actually become one of my favorite flavors. I'd say top three, especially because the blueberry cheesecake and banana cream have been out of stock for so long. This is one point for the scoop. It's 22 grams of protein. It's got 110 calories and I just put a scoop of that in there with some ice and a banana. So this is my drink right now. I'm just having this to hold me over until we have lunch. Adam's actually at a meeting right now. Whenever he gets home from the meeting, we're gonna go ahead and eat lunch and then go run a couple errands, come back and I'll finish my video. So I'm just gonna have this to hold me over until then for two points. Okay, so we just got home from running some errands. I made myself lunch. I had a meal from Ducka Diet. So Ducka Diet is a local meal prep service and I get ingredients from them and also some prep meals. And they had a new one this week. So their new meal is a burger 
burger bowl. It has a base of spinach and then little oven baked fries. Then it's got ground turkey, onion, pickle, and tomato in the Pickles are homemade and it also has a homemade ketchup. So I typed the nutrition in, it came up as six points on WW, so that's what I'm tracking it as. It's also 348 calories and then I'm also having some green grapes, so I just track those in my fitness pal. So that's my lunch right now. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. We're gonna go watch my video that I finished editing and then just hang out for the rest of the day till dinner time. Okay, so now I'm just having a Verb Energy Bar. This is the Caramel Macchiato flavor. It is three points for one, and it has 65 milligrams of caffeine and 90 calories. Okay, so I just made us some dinner. We decided to make Nof Nof inspired bowls. So Nof Nof is a Middle Eastern grill. They do like couscous or rice bases. Then they have falafel, chicken, different meats. They have a chopped salad. So I kind of did a version of that here and then lots of sauces and hummus and it's just really good. So we wanted to make a version of it at home. This bowl comes out to 11 points total on WW. I have Trader Joe's couscous and that's the base for three points. Then this is the little cucumber salad I made. So I just chopped up some mini cucumbers, some red onion. I added some lemon juice and vinegar and some salt and pepper. So that's zero points. Then we had falafel we got from Costco. I just air fried that. It was three pieces for four points. Then I used some dill pickles. Those are zero points. Some grilled chicken, also zero points. Some tzatziki from Aldi for two points. Ithaca dill pickle hummus for one point. It's two tablespoons. And then an ounce of feta cheese, reduced fat for one point. So 11 points for this entire bowl. It's gonna be super filling. I'm excited to mix it all together. And it's about 620 calories in my fitness pal. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna have my honey crisp apple after and then just hang out for the night. And then I'll see how I'm feeling after I eat that if I still wanna have yogurt or something. Okay, so I'm wrapping up my day with some yogurt. I have two points of Dan and & Light and & Fit vanilla yogurt, two points of Kashi peanut butter crunch cereal, and then some blueberries. So this is four points total on WW. I'm ending my day using 32 dailies total. I get 25 and I'm set to weight loss mode right now. I might just switch back to maintenance. I've just been eating my weeklies anyway. So sometimes I'm just in the negatives, but I did it just to see what would happen. And I find that I still eat kind of the same. I haven't really changed because of it. So anyway, 32 dailies today. Then going over to my fitness pal, I had 1,990 calories. I had 46 grams of fat. 257 carbs and 153 grams of protein. So pretty good day overall. I felt like we ate really good food. Dinner was so, so good. I'm definitely gonna be making that again. It tasted just like Nof Nof and it was delicious. So anyway, that wraps up day one. I'll be back with day two tomorrow. Okay, so we are on to day two of my what I eat in a week. I just got home from the gym, well, a little bit ago now. I went ahead and made myself a veggie mix because we're leaving for vacation in less than a week and I just needed one more round of veggies to get us through meals and stuff. So I made that right now, that's what's cooking. And I went ahead and made myself a protein shake after the gym. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this right now while I make my breakfast. But the protein shake is just a scoop of this Bloom cookies and cream protein powder for one point, then one point of cashew milk, a banana and some ice. So I'm gonna drink that and make my breakfast sandwich. I'm using this sourdough bread from Trader Joe's. Then I'm gonna make two eggs. I might use some veggie mix with them. I only have one piece of bacon, so one piece of bacon for one point and then some pepper jack cheese. I'll use one slice for two points. And then the bread for two slices is three points. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my sandwich. Once the veggie mix is done, I'll show you what I have. And then today I'm just working on some cookie stuff and some stuff on my computer. So that's the plan for the day. Okay, so here is the finished breakfast sandwich. I toasted the bread that I made the eggs, I did them like kind of fried over easy a little bit. Then I added the veggie mix, a slice of cheese. So this is six points on WW and it's about 413 calories and 33 grams of protein. Okay, so I'm just hanging out at my desk upstairs. I finally have time to just sit down and finish up the stuff with my cookbook. I feel like every day there's been something I need to get done. And then by the end of the day, when it comes to working on it, I just don't even have time anymore. And so I've had to keep pushing it off. It's been pretty busy lately, but I'm working on stuff right now. I made myself a coffee. So I used a Quest salted caramel protein shake. That's three points. Then I used a scoop of Bloom vanilla collagen. That is zero points. And then a shot of espresso from my Nespresso maker and some ice. It's three points total for the coffee. It is 160 calories for the 
salted caramel protein shake and that has 30 grams of protein and then the scoop of collagen has 50 calories and it has 10 grams of protein that's my drink right now i need some energy i'm gonna put my headphones in and get to work and then it'll be lunchtime soon okay so i've just been working on stuff i finished my coffee and now i'm super hungry for lunch so i haven't stopped thinking about the falafel bowl that i had for dinner last night and i wanted to pretty much remake it just a little bit lower in points. I didn't put everything in. So I have the base of couscous for three points. I have some veggie mix that I made today. So we didn't do that yesterday. So I have some veggie mix now, which is just pepper, onion, and zucchini. I have some of the grilled chicken. I did four ounces today. And then I did two falafel for three points. And then some of the cucumber salad I made with just red onion and cucumber. Two points of tzatziki from Aldi. So this whole bowl comes out to eight points total on WW. It's about 523 calories and it has about 38 grams of protein. I'm gonna mix this all together and eat it right now. I'm also gonna have some green grapes on the side We just got some new ones and they're super crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and track those in my fitness pal There's zero points on WW So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then finish working on some stuff and then it's time to work on cookies after that Okay, so I had green beans that I needed to use up So for dinner I made us some like stir-fry veggies with sesame noodles and chicken teriyaki meatballs. So I got the meatballs from Duck A Diet. That's the local meal prep service. I just checked those as three points for the ground chicken. Then the green beans are zero points. I also added some zucchini, so that is zero points. The pack of sesame noodles from Trader Joe's, they're Thai wheat noodles and it's eight points for one. Adam and I each had our own. I just added some soy sauce and then I also added some Panda Express mandarin sauce, so that's two points as well. So this whole bowl comes out to 13 points on WW. Then in my fitness pal, this meal is about 600 calories and 44 grams of protein. I'm also gonna eat my honey crisp apple after dinner, but this is what I'm having now. Okay, so I've just been working on cookies and it's later than I thought it was, but I still wanna eat my yogurt. So I went ahead and made myself my normal yogurt bowl. It's four points, two points for the Dan and Light and Fit yogurt, and then two points for the Kashi peanut butter cereal. The blueberries are zero. So I ended the day using 36 dailies total. Then going over to my fitness Pal, I had 2,324 calories today. I had 46 grams of fat, 290 carbs, and 196 grams of protein. So I was pretty high up there with my protein goal because I had a protein coffee and a protein shake, which I don't always do. I always find that the protein coffees really do hold me over through the day until dinner time, and it was really filling today. So that was good. I feel like I ate a lot of good meals, and I'm excited to eat my yogurt now. I'll be back with day three tomorrow. I start the day at the gym. Okay, so we are on to day three of my what I eat in a week. I just got back from the gym. I did shoulders and chest today and some abs and a little bit of walking. So I was there for a decent amount, but got a really good workout in. I had a new max for my shoulder press. I was able to do 40 pound dumbbells for eight reps, which I've been working on for months now. So that was really exciting. It felt really good. But anyway, I'm super hungry right now. So I made myself my normal protein shake. It's pretty much become routine that I just make myself my protein shake and then drink it while I'm making my breakfast. But I just made my breakfast really quick today. So I have everything ready at once but I'll drink my protein shake. Then I also made myself some eggs. So I have two scrambled eggs in here. I have some veggie mix in here, a half a serving of light Mexican shredded cheese from Trader Joe's for a point. I have one slice of center cut bacon for a point. So the eggs are two points. Then I also have another portion of this French toast bake. So I went ahead and just tracked it again. This is just like a two point serving I put it as because this is smaller than the one I had the other day. And in my protein shake, I used the banana cream protein powder today. My protein shake is two points total. So my breakfast comes out to four points total, not including the protein shake. I usually just track that in my snacks. So I track the two points in my snacks and then this is four points. So one for the cheese, two for the French toast, and then one for the bacon. Then going over to my fitness pal, this breakfast is about 400 calories and about 30 grams of protein. I'm gonna eat all this right now. I have a pretty busy day ahead of me. Usually towards the end of the week is when it starts to get busier for me. I've talked about this before. For, but with my cookie business people want their orders and stuff for the weekends and so usually Monday Tuesday is like my Friday Saturday and then Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday that's more when I start to get busy and work on cookies and stuff so my weeks are kind of off and like shifted weird but that's the plan. So I have a lot of stuff to work on with that. I've got some YouTube stuff, some videos to film and one to edit that I'll be posting today. So I just need to make sure that I'm on track today and I'll probably have quicker meals, but that's not a big deal. That's usually what I plan for for today. We also had planned on going to trivia tonight at a local brewery. So we're hoping we have time to do that, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and eat this right now, then jump in the shower and start my day. 
Okay, so I just finished editing my video. I'm about to go watch it, but I made myself lunch really quick. So this is a duck -a diet meal. It's their chicken taco bowl, and I got it with extra protein, so it had extra chicken. So it's chicken, rice, peppers, and onions, and I'm gonna go ahead and have it with some Trader Joe's blue corn tortilla chips. This is the serving for three points. I just counted it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dip those in there and eat that for lunch. It's nine points total on WW, and then in my fitness pal, it's 589 calories and 66 grams of protein. So a lot of protein. This will be very filling. And I've also been keeping up on my water. So I'm gonna keep drinking that as well. Okay, so I ended up just filming some videos after I watched my video and ate lunch and I've just been hanging out, but I forgot to show. I made myself a coffee before I started. I used some skinny syrup, so we need to finish off this pumpkin. So I used some of that for zero points, some cashew milk for zero points, and then I just made an espresso pod. So my whole coffee was zero. I put ice in it as well. Then I also just had one of these JoJo's bites. So they're just dark chocolate. They have pistachios, cranberries, and almonds. And I just had that as a quick sweet bite for two points after I finished eating. I also had a cup of grapes, so I tracked that in my fitness pal, but it's zero points. So now I'm just gonna get my video posted and I have to work on some cookies, but then we're gonna figure out dinner quickly because we decided we are gonna go to trivia after, so we have to be there by seven. So I need to get going quickly. I don't have much time, but I'll show you guys what we do for dinner. Okay, so I just finished up working on some cookies and I got ready because we're gonna head to trivia soon. So I have like 15 minutes to quickly eat my dinner. I made us some tuna noodles. So actually Adam helped me. He made the pasta and everything and he opened the cans of tuna. Thanks Adam. But I have two cans of tuna, one box of Brammy pasta. For the serving, for us to split the box, it's eight points of the pasta. The tuna is zero points. I added some veggie mix for zero points. Then I did a point of light mayo for each of us and two points of light shredded Mexican blend cheese. This comes out to 11 points total on WW. It's about 645 calories and it's got 56 grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat this right now. Then I might just have my honey crisp apple after we come back because I don't think I'll have time to eat it, but that's my plan for now. I don't think we'll eat anything there. We might have a beer or something. So if I do, I will track that and let you guys know. Okay, so we just got back from trivia. We didn't end up winning. We actually left kind of early because it was getting late and we just wanted to beat the crowd out. But anyway, we just got home, so I wanted to have something sweet. I didn't end up having anything at trivia, but I want to have one of these Mad Minis. So I just have the regular vanilla flavor. I'm going to have one for three points. It scans as two points, but when you actually type in the nutrition, that's one of those things that you almost wish you didn't realize because I wish it was only two points, but it's three points for one, 60 calories. And so I'm ending the day using 31 dailies total on WW. I had 2,158 calories total, 55 grams of fat, 246 carbs, and 181 grams of protein. So good on my protein and everything else looks pretty good too. I feel full. I was surprised that dinner actually filled me as much as it did, but it was actually a really big portion of pasta and the tuna is always filling. So it was really good, but I'm gonna eat my ice cream sandwich and then lay down because it's later than I realized. So I have the gym early in the morning. I have some cookies to work on tomorrow and I'll see where I'm at tomorrow. Okay, so we are on to day four of my what I eat in a week. I just got back from the gym. I had a really, really good leg day and I'm so hungry right now. So I've been sipping on my protein shake that I made. I used the cookies and cream protein powder for a point, cup of cashew milk for a point, banana and ice. So I have my two point protein shake. I'm also about to drink my greens. I have one serving left in here, so I'm just gonna pour the water in and drink it, but I don't track this. I'm having the mixed berry flavor today. I like to just have these as an extra serving of veggies and they help me with digestion. So I'm gonna drink that with a glass of water or pour the glass of water in it. And then I also made myself some breakfast right now. So I have potatoes in the air fryer. I'm doing a breakfast bowl. They were just the great value hash brown potatoes. So those are cooking up right now. I went ahead and cooked two eggs. And then I also have a Bolinsky Cajun chicken sausage for a point and some veggie mix that I just heated up. I threw it in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this with some light cheese as well. And I'll show you guys my bowl. But when I tracked it, it'll be 419 calories total. It has 30 grams of protein in the entire bowl and it is six points on WW, so not bad. The serving of potatoes is only three points. The sausage is one and the cheese is two. So I'm gonna assemble this and I'll show you guys what I have. I'm also gonna just keep drinking my protein shake. Okay, sorry if you can hear the air fryer going or the chicken cooking. I'm making lunch really quickly. We decided to do like Greek chicken pitas. We still have some tzatziki to use up. We have some falafel we wanted 
and I need to use the cucumbers that are in there so that'll be a perfect lunch. We already tracked it and it's nine points on WW. I'm gonna add some feta cheese. I'll show you guys once it is done, but if you hear the chicken cooking, that's why. But I really quickly wanted to show you, we just ran to the thrift store. Like I said, Trevor's always going there. And so I grabbed a few things because we were leaving for Florida in a couple days and I just wanted some things. So I actually found these brand new shorts. These were Target brand and they still had the tag on them. So these were five bucks and they were in my size and they're like kind of stretchy. So those will be comfy to just hang out in. I got this skirt. So I just thought this was cute. I like the color and it is a little longer. I struggle to find skirts that are long enough. Uh, so if I can find one that's like that length, usually that's pretty good. And then I got a dress cause I wanted to have just a nice longer dress to wear. So hopefully this will look good and fit comfortably, but I think it's just target brand and it is a large, it was actually half off, so it was $4.50, and it's just a longer dress like this. So I also got my Halloween costume, but I'm not gonna show you guys. It's something that we had in mind already. We were thinking about doing it this past year, and we just didn't end up doing it, but I found the perfect piece of the costume that I was gonna order online before, and I'm glad I didn't end up doing it, and we went with something else this year, but I have my costume now, so a little early, but we are ready for Halloween. Well, not all of us, but anyway, I'm gonna finish making my lunch, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so here is my finished lunch. This is a pita for five points, then I put two points of tzatziki from Aldi, then I cooked up some grilled chicken, so that is zero points, then some cucumber and red onion mix that I had from the other night. I just added a good amount of that. I cut up more cucumbers and added it to the mix, but I have that for zero points, then I have one falafel that I just air fried, so that's one point, and I just crumbled it up, and then one point of reduced fat feta. So this entire pita comes out to nine points on WW, then it is 478 calories, and about 36 grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna have a side of green grapes for zero points, and then I have to work on some cookies. Okay, so I've just been hanging out. I actually took a little nap cuddling the dogs. I fell asleep laying with Maggie. So I made us some dinner now and I did something new. We've never done this before. It's a two ingredient dough taco pizza bake. So I have nine points of two ingredient dough, which is half of the batch as the base. Then I did some paste queso cheese for two points and I mixed the paste queso with a can of Rotel. So Adam and I split that between our pizzas. Then I have some 99% lean ground turkey with taco seasoning, some light Mexican cheese and light mozzarella cheese and then some veggie mix. The entire dinner comes out to 13 points. It's two points for the cheese, two for the dip, and nine for the dough. Then I also made myself some apple nachos. So I have a honey crisp apple here. I used three points of regular peanut butter. That was just all I had. So I heated it up and drizzled it on. I have a chocolate fiber one brownie for two points. And then I also added one point worth of diced peanuts and zero points of the fat-free whipped cream. This plate of apple nachos is six points on W. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my pizza then I'm gonna eat the nachos and I probably won't be very hungry after that But I still have some cookies to work on so I'm gonna do that after and then I'll see where I'm at Okay, so I'm just having a quick Greek yogurt for two points 80 calories. This is the caramel apple pie flavor And I'm just having it plain. Okay, so I just finished up working on some cookies I'm gonna go ahead and lay down now It's later than I thought it was and I do want to try to go to the gym tomorrow Usually it is my off day, but because we're going to Florida on Sunday I just want to get one more workout in even if it's just walking at an incline for a little bit So I'm gonna go do that in the morning So I got the cookies done and I didn't end up eating anything else after the yogurt I ended the day using 36 dailies total then going over to my fitness pal. I had 2280 calories. I had 56 grams of fat, 283 carbs, and 169 grams of protein. So pretty on track with everything for today. I felt good. Our dinner was so good. I don't think I came back and talked about it. It was so delicious. I'm gonna have to do a recipe video on it because I'm so happy with how it turned out. And for 13 points, it was definitely worth it. So that was really good. It was really filling. And that wraps up my day for day four. I'll be back with day five tomorrow. Okay, here is a baptism order that I was working on. So finish that up, now we just have to package it. Okay, so I ended up going to the gym for a little bit. I just did a few upper body things, some back exercises, and it was really low key. I did a lot of stretching. I didn't even end up walking, I didn't do any abs, and it was just kind of good to move a little bit because I know for the next few days, we're probably just gonna be pretty lazy, which is totally fine. I think it'll be good for my body to rest and recover. But anyway, we're on day five of my What I Eat in a Week. Today's gonna be a busy day of packing and getting ready to leave. But first, I have to finish getting together orders for pickups today, for cookies, and also the orders of my giveaway winners 
from my Instagram post. So I recently did an Instagram giveaway where I picked two winners to each get a dozen cookies of their choice and their design of choice. And that's what I have in front of me. So I'm going to show you what orders I did for them. Okay. So on this side, she had said, actually first she said ducks. So I did make her some mini ducks because I just wanted to include that since that was her first answer, but she actually switched it to bugs. So she said her daughter really likes bugs right now. So I did some bees, some butterflies, some caterpillars, and some ladybugs. So that is the first winner's order. Then the second winner chose summer themed. So much needed right now, it's 10 degrees out here. So these definitely got me in the mood for summer. So I have some suns, watermelon, fish, flamingo pool floats, pools, and ice cream cones. So that is the second winner. I'm gonna go ahead and get these packaged up and shipped. I just wanted to make sure they dried fully, but once they are done, I'm gonna go ahead and package those and get those shipped out. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast right now. Okay, so I got the pictures taken of the cookies. Now I'm making myself some breakfast and Adam as well, he's home today. So I made us each a protein shake. We have a two point shake. It's one point for the protein, one for the cashew milk. I have ice and banana, same thing as every day. Then for breakfast, I'm making us breakfast sandwiches. So I went ahead and did Adam Adam's eggs first. I have two eggs that I just cooked kind of over easy and then I'm doing a Balinski Cajun chicken sausage for one point. I have two slices for each of us of Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread. So that's just toasting up and then we're going to use one slice of light pepper jack cheese for two points. So the breakfast sandwich comes out to six points total on WW and then it's about 450 calories and then 39 grams of protein. So it is high in protein. It'll be filling until we figure out lunch which actually we've already kind of planned ahead our meals for the day which isn't something that we usually do because we end up switching by the end of the day if we do that but because we're leaving for vacation we have some vegetables and stuff that we need to finish before we leave and so that's why we're not really having any vegetables with breakfast right now I already planned that we're gonna use the rest of the veggie mix with dinner and then I have a lot of cucumbers for us to use so we're gonna do something with that for lunch so that's just my plan for the day but I do have to get my video edited early because tomorrow we're gonna be traveling all day and I don't want to have to worry about that I just want it to be ready to upload for YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that today and then like I said it's gonna be a lot of packing and cleaning and laundry and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my breakfast sandwich once it's done and then get to work. Okay, so just been hanging out, but just made us some lunch. So we needed to finish up cucumbers and then we also finished off the hummus that we had and we needed to have more falafel. We ended up, we're gonna freeze the rest of it, but this bowl comes out to nine points total. It's five for the rice, three for the falafel and one for the hummus. The chicken is just Tyson black pepper chicken that we had in the freezer. That is zero points for the serving. The cucumbers are zero points. So nine points for this entire bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. And then in my fitness pal, it came out to 546 calories. It's about 40 grams of protein and I'm excited to eat it. It smells really good. I think this will be pretty filling. We were kind of not hungry till later. We're eating a later lunch, but I think we'll still be hungry in time for dinner. I also had some extra cucumbers that we didn't finish. So I went ahead and tried pickling them. I didn't have like any of the ingredients on hand. So really I just did like a cup of water, cup of vinegar, some different seasoning. I did some dill and a ranch seasoning and then some salt and a little bit of sugar and then I put the rest of the cucumbers. So we're just gonna leave these and see what happens with them and yeah I didn't want them to go to waste so hopefully those will be good. It's also snowing right now which is insane that we're leaving for Florida tomorrow because it's like 15 degrees here and snowing but Anyway, we're trying to stay warm in the house. We're gonna eat our lunch and then I'm going to package up the cookies to ship them out. Okay, I'm about to go edit my video. I also need to put some nails on, but I'm gonna have a quick verb energy bar. This is three points. It's the caramel macchiato flavor and it's got some caffeine in it. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and have it right now. Okay, so I just finished editing my video early so that I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. And then I made us some dinner really quickly. We had some ground turkey that I wanted to use up. It was 93% lean. So I just made us some turkey burgers, but I just baked them in the oven. So it's almost like a turkey patty. I don't know. We made it into pasta though. So I used a box of Cava Toppy Bonza pasta. Adam and I just split it. So it is a seven point serving. I tossed it in some tomato sauce from Trader Joe's. Then I added a good amount of veggie mix because we had to finish it up. So that's pepper, onion, and zucchini. So the turkey burger is four points. Then I also added some grated Parmesan for a point. I made one of these Trader Joe's French baguette breadsticks. So this dinner is higher in points. It's 15 total, but it'll be really filling. I'm hungry and I just wanted to use my weeklies for it. So 15 points total, 727 calories total, and then it is about 57 grams of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna have my honey crisp apple after, and then I'll see where I'm at, but I still have to pack for tomorrow. 
Okay, so I am wrapping up day five of my what I eat in a week now. I'm gonna go ahead and have some of these Soli gummies. The pack is two points. It is 70 calories and it's just a little gummy snack that I want. I'm actually really full from dinner. It was a big serving and it was very filling, but I do want something gummy before I lay down. I just got finished packing up everything, so that felt good. Cleaned up some of my clothes and I feel ready for tomorrow. I just have to put on some nails. So these are the nails that I always use. They have adhesive on them, but I also use this glue uh, before I put them on and it just makes them stick and last about a week So that's what I like to use and I just always have a bottle of glue on me in case one pops off But I'm gonna do that now and then I'm going to watch my video that I'm posting tomorrow and then lay down for bed So wrapping up today I ended up using 37 dailies total and I just want to bring up to the fact that I've talked about how I like to just space my weeklies out for the week So if you look at the past five days, it's been 32 and I get 25 dailies right now I'm not set to maintenance. I might just switch back because I find that I have just been eating the same amount. I'm in negative weeklies right now, but I also don't track my activity points, which I gain a decent amount back. So from the first day, it was 32 dailies I used, 36, 31, 36, and 37. So every day I'm over like almost 10 points, but that's just my weekly spaced out with my activity points. It pretty much evens out and I find that that's just what works best for me. But anyways, I used 37 dailies today. Then I had 2,273 calories, 53 grams of fat, 292 carbs, and 163 grams of protein. So everything looked good again today. I feel like I had a really good day of eating again. We had some really good meals in this what I eat in a week and I feel like I'll have to do some more recipe videos for some of them because I know that we're going to be remaking them. They were all really good. So I feel like it's been a good week of eating and I felt like I actually had really high calorie days compared to normal. Uh, it seemed like I was eating a little bit more than normal this week but I also felt pretty hungry so it worked out but I'm excited to go to Florida, take a few days off. It's going to be kind of hard for me to take a few days off the gym because I miss it and honestly I just like to stay in my routine and everything so it's something that I'll be working through but it's not a huge deal I know we're gonna enjoy ourselves and have a lot of really good meals so anyway I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and I really just like to share my journey share what works for me not everything that I do will work best for you but this is just for some inspiration and I just want you guys to keep that in mind so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time